Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to install PyCharm IDE on your computer. PyCharm IDE is a very powerful IDE and it's actually one of my personal favorite IDEs uh, to type the code in. And uh, you know, it allows many features to the programmer and especially it is helpful in cases where you're writing, uh, you know, code with which has a number of lines in it. So let's begin. Now before I move on uh, to tell you how to install PyCharm, uh, let me tell you one thing which I saw when I was installing the latest version of PyCharm. So I, I would like to tell you that, uh, uh, let, let me show you. Uh, this is my application list and here uh, you can see if we scroll down. here you can see I have uh, removed my earlier version of Python which was uh, version 3.8 uh, which is of course the latest version and uh, that is the same version we installed in the first video in this Python video tutorial series uh, the problem with that version is I don't know but it was giving me some issue when uh, I was using PyCharm so what I did was uh, I, I uninstalled Python 3.8 and uh, in place of Python 3.8 I installed Python 3.6.5 okay the installation process is all same so uh, if you guys want to use PyCharm I would strongly recommend that you uninstall the latest version of Python and you switch back to this version 3.6.5 okay it will work just fine for you and before you uninstall uh, like if you have already installed Python 3.8 you will see here uh, Python 3.8 of course and this is one more utility called Python launcher so when you uninstall you uninstall this application first by clicking this button and then you make sure that you uninstall this application too and then you download uh, this version from the Python official website and um, you can then install this uh, in the same manner uh, what I explained in that uh, first video okay so uh, I hope you understood this thing now to download PyCharm you need to go to your web browser and just google PyCharm download okay and press enter so the very first link okay should uh, should be uh, the official website from where you you can download PyCharm ID so just click on this link and here uh, on the home page you will see two options first is professional and the other one is community the professional version we don't want because it is paid version and uh, we want community so it is absolutely free guys so you can use it for your purpose and uh, it's very very simple to install just just download this uh, software from here uh, since I have already downloaded uh, this software so I'm not going to do it again but uh, as soon as you hit download button your download will start and uh, then you can run the setup and the setup is also very simple uh, you, you just have to press next button three four times and uh, you don't have to change any settings uh, while setting up uh, PyCharm on your computer. So since I have already installed that software uh, on my computer, so I am going to open it directly and I'll show you how to work with it. Okay. Okay. So this is how your uh, Py PyCharm screen will look like when you load it first time uh, here you have to create uh, a new project first okay so just uh, click on this option create new project and here you can choose the location where you want to save your project I, I prefer to save it on desktop so it is it is showing desktop uh, already because I have used it once but in your case uh, this location might be different so to choose desktop or to choose any location you want you simply uh, can press this icon here folder icon as you can see just click on this icon and in this box you simply type 
desktop or whatever folder you want to go in and don't make any spelling mistakes here okay so uh, if you have typed it correctly and if that folder exists it automatically will search that folder for you as you can see it on my computer so just select desktop in the list and click OK so as you can see the location is showing as desktop press a backslash key here and then write your project name so for now I'm writing my project you can give spaces here if you want uh, now this is just a folder name guys so uh, not a big deal okay so after writing this you can click on create button and it will create this folder and it will also copy some required files in the folder so you just have to wait for some time and it is also showing right now as it is creating a virtual environment okay now the good thing about PyCharm ID is that you know as soon as you create a new project it actually creates a separate copy of Python for that project now what it means is you can install specific library like NumPy or Pandas library or whatever library you want specifically to that project okay so that way it gives you the flexibility uh, of having different libraries for different different projects and this is exactly what is called as virtual environment that is uh, you know keeping a separate copy of Python for each project you create in PyCharm IDE so this is how it looks like and um, you you can see my project here is created and to create a Python file you simply right click on the project name and go to new and select Python file option here okay so when you click Python file it is asking you to give a file name let it be test and press enter key make sure a Python file is selected here so when you press enter key it should create a new Python file for you where you can write your code so let me write a print statement here so I'll write print and hello okay so this is just for testing I'm writing the code and how do you run this code you just have to press the shortcut key control shift F10 so remember the shortcut of running uh, this particular file a Python program in PyCharm is control shift F10 so I'm going to press control shift F10 now and you can see here the output is coming so in one window you can you know uh, manage everything so this is the good thing about this PyCharm IDE now you can also customize this ID as per your comfort uh, and for that you have to change some settings so let me tell you how to increase the font size and how to get rid of this margin uh, if you can see it on your screen okay so to do it you have to go to file and settings and in the setting window you have to look for this editor option and as soon as you click editor you will see font here so click on font and here you can like if you want to increase the size you can increase it to say for example 20 and you can also change the font style as per your like okay um, so this is how you change font as, as, as you can see my font size has been increased so the next setting I want to tell you is is found uh, in this option which says code style okay so just click on code style and here you can see the setting hard wrap at so it is by default set to 120 I like to set it to 250 okay so when you press ok you can see that margin is now gone it is not gone actually it has it is shifted to 250 characters 
towards the right hand side of of your screen so it is not visible so that that margin looks bit annoying uh, to me that's why you can uh, change it if you want to remove it now uh, when you want to install additional packages in pycharm id okay you can do it very easily just like what we did uh, you know uh, with the default installation of python uh, which is the one i uh, displayed in my previous video so you can install additional packages by remaining here only okay you don't have to go to your command prompt and you have to type that pip uh, you have to type all those commands there you can type all the commands to install additional packages here only okay so to install packages you have two options first option which is the easier one is to go to file and settings again and here you can scroll all the way down and the fourth option from bottom uh, okay should show your project name as you can see on my screen and here you click on project interpreter option now this is the list of packages uh, which are all already installed in this uh, virtual environment in which i am working right now okay so it says pip and setup tools so these are the only two packages that are installed for my project right now so if you want to add more packages you can simply click on the plus sign and in the search bar you can type whatever additional package like i want to install numpy so i'll type numpy here please don't make any spelling mistakes here as soon as it is found it will be highlighted with blue color line as you can see and just click on it once to make sure it is selected and then just hit install package button so uh, make sure you you are connected to internet so it will automatically pick up all the required files online and it will uh, download this package for you and and also it will be installed okay now so as you can see at the bottom of my screen it says package numpy installed successfully so likewise you can install any uh, other package like i want to install pandas so i'll simply type pandas here it will be selected then click install package option okay now the second way of installing a package is to go to uh, this terminal option which is uh, you know which is found at the bottom left corner of your screen okay so just click on this terminal option once and a terminal window will open here so this is the window where you can type uh, the pip command with which you can install any package so let me type it here pip install uh suppose i want to install pandas so i'll just press enter key so as you can see it is downloading all the files and uh, it will take some time uh, it depends on the size of the library that you are installing okay so the pandas library has been installed successfully so like this you can install any library you want uh, now you might be wondering since we had already installed these uh, packages earlier uh, with the default installation of python so why are we doing it again the reason is again uh, i am telling you because we are working in a virtual environment guys this venv written here is an indication of the same thing so this is not the default copy of the python that we installed earlier this is a virtual environment this is a separate copy of the python uh, which is working only for my project the current project so you have to install all those libraries again but for some reasons if you don't want to install uh, all these libraries again and again for different different projects since you know you have already installed them uh, in the default installation so you can do one thing you can attach your project with your default installation so for that you have to change the interpreter setting uh, of this project so again you have to go to file settings and uh, the fourth option 
from the bottom this option is what you have to select the project option and here you will see project interpreter option again you are you can see now these packages are installed now uh, when you install a specific package uh, you might see some you know supportive packages are also installed so don't bother about them so make sure the package that you typed is showing in this list so that's that will be a proof that your required package or additional package is, is installed successfully so in order to connect this project to your default python installation default python interpreter what you have to do is uh, you have to open this box and you have to select show all option and here uh, you have to click this plus sign so when you click this plus sign you you will be given four options at the left hand side of your screen uh, don't don't bother about all of them as of now uh, you just have to select this third option which says system interpreter so click on system interpreter and it should automatically search the default installation directory where python is actually installed okay the system interpreter is installed so this is the location where i installed python interpreter this is the core interpreter actually and this should be automatically displayed here so that's it you just have to press ok button here and it should be displayed in this list like this okay I, s I have to remove this option it's no longer required fine so so this is the default installation and this is my virtual environment so in whatever mod you want to work you can choose accordingly so uh, I want to switch to the default installations I, I will select the system interpreter option and then I'll click OK so as soon as you click OK you can see this list is refreshed and uh, it is now showing that with default installation you have only two packages so again if you had installed all the required libraries earlier with the default installation uh, they would have been shown here all of them so I have since I had uninstalled the you know Python version 3.8 and I reinstalled this Python uh, 3.6 version so they are uh, and after installing this version I did not uh, you know reinstall all those libraries with the default installation so they are not being shown here so that's not a big deal if you install uh, it will be shown here so it's that's what it is so after this you can click OK button and you can come back to your project so I hope all these settings are clear to you if you still have any query you can always ask me in the comment box below so uh, in the upcoming videos we'll be using PyCharm ID so slowly gradually you will learn more about this ID and how it is uh, you know in what ways it is better than uh, using idle which comes by default with the Python system installation the default installation okay so that's it for this video I hope this uh, installing PyCharm ID on your computer is clear to you the process is clear to you and if you have liked the content please like comment and share and do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching